Static stretching is actually when you do a stretch and hold that stretch for a period of time. Most of the time and most studies and research out there are saying that you should hold a stretch minimum 20 to 30 seconds and report and repeat that actual stretch three times. You can actually hold a stretch longer than that, but in order to make changes with those filaments, you need to hold it at least 20 to 30 seconds. So if you're about to go for a run, you actually do not want to do a static stretch. You do not want to hold those muscles in that lengthened position because actually doing that will cause injury, possibly during or after that run. So what you want to do is dynamic stretching or warming up. You actually want to warm up the body in a slow, controlled manner so that when you do an activity like running or basketball, um, you're doing it with that muscle not in an extended position. You actually want to move that muscle throughout a small range of motion to build up the uh, muscle's ability to perform during that activity. And in addition to that, um, what you want to make sure you're doing is um, uh, addressing uh, the muscle so that after the activity, you don't cause any problems. So during a run, wait, before you take a run, you want to do something in place like jumping jacks, you can do little mini squats, something that's causing multiple, multiple more repetitions over a course of time doing that, that actual activity before your run. Um, that will build up your endurance during the running and it also will warm up the muscles and prepare them for the activity. It also causes an increase in your heart rate, which is important before you do an activity. Um, dynamic stretching, so that's beforehand. Um, when we don't do any of that, we're going to have decreased flexibility decreased mobility of your joints and risk of injury. Stretching after running, what you want to do, or any activity for that matter, is the static stretching. When you are finished your activity, you are having a higher um, heart rate and you want to slowly bring that heart rate, da heart rate down um, gradually and that's what static stretching is all about. It helps you do that. So you can do um, some small like deceleration movements if you're running or playing a sport, just kind of gradually bring that heart rate down, but when you are done that, you do need to actually stay in place and stretch and hold that position for the, depending on the muscle that you're actually working, for about 20 to 30 seconds, and you want to do three on each leg. If you do the static stretching after an activity, what you're doing is preventing delayed onset muscle soreness, or at least lessening um, the soreness you'll have after the activity. It's, and this is especially for any activity that you're starting out doing that you haven't done in a long time. Um, the other thing is it prevents cramping, so it prevents that tight spasming you might feel, like that charley horse in your calf in the middle of the night or something like that. Um, you're more than likely um, going to get those cramps if you do not do any stretching after the activity.